All right, man, we're here live in the alley on Crenshaw in the Murk Park, right behind, uh, or right here by Delicious in that alley behind. Doc building over there, you know, the building with the sign. They're searching the car. I've been out here for about 20 minutes asking for the reasonable suspicion for the detention. They have these young men being detained, all of them. They haven't told me the reasonable suspicion or the probable cause for the search. They've disallowed me from investigating the case. I haven't been able to do my investigation, and they said I couldn't do my investigation under threat of being arrested for Penal Code Section 148A1. But they're all over here. They're, they're all over here. They, they won't give me the, the reasonable suspicion for the detention. And they keep, like this is going on right now. I just got off doing a radio show, and this is going on about these kind of issues. My conversation with Tingarides, I guess, didn't make it to Southwest yet. And now I'm over here, and I'm trying to get these young men to believe in the system, and the system is being violated right now. I, how, how can I say believe in this system? It works for you. Go get a degree. Then they'll follow the law. I know. And this is the thing. The, the way it works, if you don't sign it, then, they, then they'll arrest you. That's it. You're not admitting to that. You say you're going to take care of it. He's not. Let me finish. I'm going to take care But. Do you understand that? Okay. I'm going to sign it. So I can talk to you. Man. Well, I, well, I can't talk to him. You, now you, now you saying you're about to arrest him. So now I could, I could talk to him now, right? What about, what about your LAPD volume, volume four, six fifty point one zero? Okay, but you're interrupting my investigation. I have a bar card that gives me the right to investigate as soon as you start your investigation. Let us finish our investigation. Once he's in, what's he doing? Once he's in jail, then you can go and talk to him all you want. I, I need to but do no, my investigation right now. Because now you're going to interfere with my officers. No, they wasn't talking. It's, well, it's been 20 minutes. They, they haven't been talking to him. They won't let me talk to him. interfere with my officers. How? Once, how? Once how? They're if done, they're not talking to once him. Once they're done, how? they will release him to you. How's how? That? No, I, I would like I would like to know what the, what the, what the what, can somebody give me the probable cause for the search? Can somebody explain that for me? And now how we going to get people to respect the law well, the if y'all won't follow the law? We're not going to sit here and argue with the back and forth that you're We write like I'm, it's, it's really happening. Like I, I tried to be the lawyer and, and represent. I just happened to be coming down the street and seeing the client. Is he going to sign the citation? Yeah, I'm going to sign it. And I did the citation. Man, and all four of them is in handcuffs. And ain't nobody told me why they was even stopped. This is crazy. This is going on like right now. Like right now, it's, it's happening. It's like, man, this is this is how we treat. And when you wonder why young black men don't feel like they're part of the system, that they're represented by the system, this is why. This is why. I can sit here, and or maybe we're not training the officers right, because none of them seem to know that they got to let me talk to the client once they detain them. None of them know that. None of them know. And it's in their policy. I told you, volume four, 650.10, it's all, it's in their policy. It, and the Constitution, Fifth Amendment. You got a right. You got a right to remain silent. Implicit of that is, is, the, is the right to counsel. They over here asking questions, doing all this, but they won't let me talk to the client and advise them what's going on. This is, this is, this is really going on right now. This is ridiculous. And I've been cool talking to him. The cop know me. I've cross-examined him before, so he know I'm a legitimate attorney, and I still can't do it. This is crazy, man. Who... Like, like, what can we do about that? Like, I'm, I don't, I'm, I'm paid to give answers, and I don't have no answers. I, I can't figure this out. Man, I need to, what's, what's going on? Man, this is crazy. I'm barking now. I'm barking at him. Now I'm a dog. Now I'm barking at him. This is. I'm barking at him. I've been out here 
20 minutes having a conversation. I had a conversation with him. People gonna come and watch and make sure these young people being This is how we, t and I'm telling you, even when there's an attorney there before the handcuffs, this is how people are treated. And I'm right here uh, behind delicious uh, soul food on Crenshaw 43rd place, right behind. But luckily, you know, everybody out of handcuffs now. This is crazy. This is like, this is like right now, 2017, this day is 19. It's, it's like, man, this is right now. But this is, this, this is what we got. This is crazy. All these officers, not one of them willing to stand up for the Constitution. They took an oath to protect. Not one of them. It's crazy. 